In this video, I'm going to show you how to cut down some of the noise that you get when you're using the Ewe and the Digitec Talker to get the vocoder effect with the Boss Noise Suppressor 2. Stay tuned. What's going on? This is Quaman Fowler and I wanted to do this video because I got a uh, question on how to uh, reduce the noise when you're using the vocoder uh, with the Ewe. So this is the Digitech Talker that I have set up here on the table. And if you want to check out that video, you can click on uh, here and uh, go and check that out. If you watched it already, you know how to set up the Digitech Talker. And I'm going to show you how to set up the Boss Noise Suppressor. Uh, and what this will do is cut down on some of the noise that you may hear when you're up on stage trying to use the vocoder and um, you know, you're getting a lot of noise from the other instrumentalists and their amps and stuff like that on stage. It can be a drag for the sound guy when he's trying to cut down the noise and make everything sound good with the vocoder. It's better to be able to control everything right there on stage. So I had to get this pedal. So uh, first, before I plug it up, if you notice it has three knobs and these three knobs uh, one is threshold and the one in the middle is a uh, decay and then you have one knob which you can switch to reduction or mute. So uh, what I did, I already have it kind of rolled uh, the way that I want or dialed in the way that I want. I have threshold turned all the way to the right. I have decay turned all the way to the left and um, I have uh, mute on instead of reduction. So reduction would just cut it down a little bit and mute would just just mute it okay so uh on purpose i have my uh sound going through my speakers my monitor so you can hear it coming back this way and then i got a fan on and also i have my um uh, little bluetooth speaker where i'm gonna play some background music so that you can get an idea like when you're out in a live situation you'll see it's going to be a lot of noise going on so I want you to be able to hear how it's going to sound once I put the suppressor on. Okay, with all that said, let's get plugged up. Make sure I have my volume turned down here so you don't get a loud noise. The amp uh, output on the Digitech is going to go into the input for the boss on the right side. All right, and so now the pedal is on. When it's on, of course, you'll see the red light. You can't see it from where you are, I don't think. But uh, the red light is on. Of course, when you hit the pedal, it'll bypass the effect of the boss. So now um, I'm going to turn the Ewe on. And when I turn the Ewe on, you'll start. You should be able to hear my voice. So now the Ewe is plugged up. So now you can hear the effect of the Ewe. So what I'm going to do is scoop this over. I just want you to hear. Uh, what happens when I turn the threshold, which is now all the way to the right? I'm gonna turn it to the left. Check one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So now it's a lot more sensitive to noise and sound. So I'm gonna turn it more to the right to cut down on that. So there we go, it's all the way to the right. The decay was all the way to the left, so now I'm gonna turn it to the right side. There we go. There we go. Test one, two, three, one, two, three. So I'm I'm turning it all the way to the left. The decay is all the way to the left, counterclockwise, and the threshold is all the way to the right, and that makes it really tight, uh, a tight sound. And um, on mute, this is what it sounds like. Mute, mute. Test one, two, three. So when I when I do reduction, test one, two, three. It's a lot more, a lot more rain. When you do reduction, it's more of a rain. So when I step away, you can hear it. So let me choose mute. Mute, mute. So the mute, it cut it all the way out. So it's a lot more cleaner. Yes, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So, so now what I'm going to do on the... Digitech itself, you can adjust the sound. So you can adjust the knobs. It's three knobs on the Digitech. I have one knob turned to the far left. 
it's turned uh, all the way uh, to the right. And then I got the middle knob is kind of at uh, 12 o'clock. And then I have the far knob on the right is kind of at uh, 2 o'clock. All right. Now, I got some music that I'm going to play. I got my Bluetooth speaker. Hey, thank you so much for watching this video. And if you would like to get the rest of this video along with more content like it, you want to go to Texas Tenor Music Academy. It's my brand new website, which is like an all-in-one place where you can get performances, you can get ewe lessons, you can get um, jazz lessons, and all of that. It's basically my world in an academy uh, to help you uh, better your skills or even just be entertained by the music and the performances that I do. So go ahead and go over to Texas Center Music Academy and you can start your free trial today. Also, if you like this channel, you want to go ahead and subscribe, like this video, and uh, also share it with others. Okay, so I look forward to seeing you inside.